We have a question from Frank. And I'll answer this as frankly as I can. <laughs> I've been enjoying your podcast, especially when you talk to young people like a dad. Well, I talk to young people like a dad because I'm a dad and a granddad. And uh, I'm 65. And, you know, I'm having a problem with my Medicare, which a sentence you don't really think you're ever going to say. But I'm no, I'm no kid having just turned 60. Oh, you're a child. I've lifted most of my adult life, and I'm pretty happy with the results. It's just that I no longer have any spring in my step. I used to bound upstairs light as a feather while walking. I want to break into a jog for the joy of it. Now these moments are a lugubrious grind, and I feel like I weigh a ton. Any advice how to improve the quality of my daily movement? One of the first articles I ever read on the internet was on Clarence Bass's site. He and the late Terry Todd were talking about this exact thing. And the article is one of, still one of my favorite articles ever on Clarence's site. It's about getting spring back in your step. Well, when you think about it, I read that. I was, gosh, holy cow. I was 41. I was 41 when I read it. Now I'm 65 talking about an article I read on the internet. That's how long I've been on the internet. Holy cow. Huh. So, and I thought when I read it, uh, don't you know who I am? I'm Darren John. I've got all this spring in my step. I'm an Olympic lifter, highly game athlete. Yeah. yeah and then uh, this happened. Uh, they talk about just getting up on a curb, which I thought was a good idea. This is why, and, and just to summarize everything for you, Frank, uh, this is why I'm such a big fan of the kettlebell swing. Uh, one of the things, the kettlebell swing, I, I said one time at a workshop, it's a fat building athlete builder. And well, you see that quote bounce around the internet, it seems to me all the time. Um, I think one of the reasons I like the kettlebell swing is it done correctly. And that's, that's huge. It is a, done correctly. <laughs> it is a great way to build keep those explosive fast twitch muscle fibers without any impact. Um, so when I do the 10,000 swing challenge every year and I loathe it, and I actually had a conversation with one, somebody very close with me who tells me, told me that the 10,000 swing challenge is a total waste of time. And it kind of broke my heart a little bit because, you know, you don't like to hear that about your own work, but you know, it was, it was a solid point. I mean, having said that, Every year after the 10,000 swing challenge, I go back onto an Olympic lifting program and I notice that my hinge is locked and loaded again for a year. So, okay, there's a couple ideas. Maybe you can't do them, but something like a kettlebell in the weight room, kettlebell swing, any Olympic lift. If you can um, find safe and appropriate ways to do uh, uh, jumping. Now, I got this from uh, the University of Hawaii, one of their athletes years ago, one of the few athletes from my area who actually did well at the U of H because it's, it's, it's a tough cultural change. Uh, and it's really, and I'd be honest with you, it's the party lifestyle. Uh, I'm not throwing this on Hawaii. I'm talking about the, the, the dorm life at the, at any university. Um, the, what they were doing was an interesting idea. They were not doing any negatives in their plyometric work. So you jump up on a box, a soft box or, or something appropriate. Uh, actually, in many cases, uh, back at the school I used to ta teach at, we had these rolls rolls of carpet that were rolled up, and I used them to train my athletes, some of my athletes post injury. So you jump up on a carpet roll, and then you just I had a little step, so you took two steps down, jump up, walk down, jump up, walk down. Uh, you'll notice I'm a big fan of hill sprints. Uh, in your case, I'd say sprint up. <laughs> lugubriously walk down. Um, I think there's some value to that. I think if you get, if you can get to a beach and play a game like Frisbee, paddle ball, not football, soccer, anything, and uh, run around on a beach for a day where you're going to get no, at least very, you know, very limited impact and just get a sense for where you're sore after that. And then test yourself after that on like a grassy surface and a sport. And then what you might notice is that sadly here in the States anywhere, we're almost so much of the uh, human activities now are on cement and asphalt. 
and a lot of people are, are just, uh, I think this is very important. It, the, the, the beat down you're getting from the cement and the asphalt is really hurting you long-term other places. So first, make a commitment that you want to keep spring in your life, like, like I have. Uh, when you stand up, stand up like Joe Mills taught us, you go bounce up out of the chair, boom, explode out of chairs. Uh, if someone calls your name, you bounce up. When a lady comes to, this is, okay, boy, I'm going to get peed on for this one, but I was taught that when a, when a lady walks around the room, you stand up. The other night at the, uh, we're dancing, and um, when someone, a female would come to the table, I'd always stand up, and someone said, that's, that's nice to see that someone's still doing that. I'm like, am I the only one? But popping up out of chairs, um, that's, it's a small thing. If you think about exploding out of chairs when you stand up, it's a small thing, but it helps. Um, you can do something that long. Um, jumping, where, you, where you're jumping up on something and walking down. Jump up, walk down. If you can learn an appropriate kettlebell swing or an Olympic lift, I like that. Hill sprint, walk down. Uh, playing games on soft surfaces. Uh, the interesting thing you'll find if you're like me, Playing something as simple as catch with an American football or a Frisbee, uh, we'll be throwing it like this at first. And then all of a sudden that Frisbee will tail away and you put yourself into a mild sprint. And then all of a sudden, about 20 minutes later, you realize that you're running again without running. You're, you're just sprinting. You're just trying to get a ball or a Frisbee or whatever. Uh, that's what I think you need to do. Try to bring play back in as best as you can too. That's, these are great questions. Thank you so much. This has been kind of fun today.